We have a little coverage, huh? Yeah. They must be here for Curtis, I assume. I'm hearing more and more people say the level of violence on video games is really shaping young people's thoughts. And then you go the further step, and that's the movies. You see these movies, they're so violent, and maybe they have to put a rating system for that. But the fact is that you are having movies come out that are so violent with the killing and everything else that maybe that's another thing we're going to have to discuss. And a lot of people are saying it. Maybe two weeks ago. We're going to do strong background checks. We're going to work on getting the age up. We have to harden our schools, not soften them up. We have to get smart on gun-free zones. When they see it says, this is a gun-free zone, that means that nobody has a gun except them. Nobody's going to be shooting bullets in the other direction. But if they have the aptitude, I think a concealed permit for having teachers and letting people know that there are people in the building with gun, you won't have, in my opinion, you won't have these shootings, because these people are cowards. The idea of arming teachers is absolutely ridiculous. The the notion that the NRA likes to push that a good guy with a gun can stop a bad guy with a gun is, is just a myth. It's it's not real. We've got thousands of um, very well-trained veterans walking around doing whatever jobs as they come back from defending our country. I would support someone like that walking around the school. The school, school is not an army place to go and learn. So we're going to be talking seriously about opening mental health institutions again. But active center. shooter drills is a very negative thing. I, I, don't, I don't like it. I'd much rather have a hardened school. The President of the United States, Donald J. Trump. The fundamental question of our time is whether the West has the will to survive. This is an historic moment from which there can be no turning back.